guys, I'm Katie Cleary here with World Animal News, and I'm here with the president of In Defense of Animals, and Joanna Horowitz, actually, who's an amazing animal advocate. And so tell me a little bit about why you're here today and why you're here supporting uh, Stop You Lynn Doggy Festival. Because this is, a, this is a, such an important cause. I just came back from Korea, and I saw what was going on, the slaughterhouses and the markets and the farms there. There they breed dogs for, for restaurants. And I, I'm trying to figure out a strategic plan so that one domino falls, and the easiest domino that will fall, so it will fall throughout Asia countries that all eat Beautiful dogs. animals, as Lisa said earlier. I mean, they're used to detect cancer. They're used for PTSD. They're man's best friend. I mean, it's unconscionable that anybody could do such a yeah. thing. And, and it's, it's got tradition. to stop. It's not tradition. It's not tradition. It's, it's, tradition. Tradition. it's, it's nothing excuse. to do with tradition. You should see the sad faces of those dogs, too. They're crying out for somebody to give them some attention of a kindly way, but unfortunately, the only one that does is gives them any attention are the people in aprons that are going to take them into slaughter or blowtorch them. And it's just heartbreaking. It's I, unconscionable. It absolutely needs to stop. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's in Korea, it's in uh, China, it's yep, in Vietnam. Indonesia, it's in Vietnam, it's in Thailand. Mm -hmm. How can our viewers um, help the cause and, and actually put an end to the Dog Meat Festival? How can we all collectively work together? I think that's the point. Collectively. We all must work collectively together. There, the, the, right now there's movements in all these different countries, but we're spread out. If we could all align and become a One strong voice. force and pick the first country and concentrate on that, that would be the first country domino to fall. Yeah. And then in other Asian countries would follow suit. Yeah. Stop you forever! and she's the amazing organizer for this No to Dog Meat protest. So, Nina, tell me a little bit about how you got started, and this is such a huge success today. Tell me a little so bit about it. Last Chance for Animals has the experience with yes. protests. You know, obviously, we've been doing this uh, for 30 years. So and wonderful. Yeah, thank you. And so, basically, we came on board to, to help get things set up, to help things move uh, smoothly, let, let them know what a protest entails, and um, how to get people to behave and get the message across in yeah. a way that would make people listen. Now, what can our, our viewers do to help um, who are sitting at home watching this right now? Well, um, one of the best things you can do is go to stopdogmeat.com. We have a petition there that will go straight to the Chinese consulate in Washington, D.C. And um, I would share the issue because the more people know about it, the more people spread the word, the better the chance that we can actually shut this festival down. So social media, Instagram, Twitter, hashtag no, no to dog meat and also uh, stop dog meat. Stop, stop mm -hmm. as well. The dog meat industry in China, they mm -hmm. say it's a tradition, but it's really not a tradition. When you're torturing animals because you want their meat to be tender, how is that exactly. a tradition? Exactly. And it's actually a very small part of the culture. Most Chinese people do not eat dogs. And a growing number of people in China are um, starting to have dogs as companion animals, and they're starting to speak out against it. Um, so it's part of it might be tradition. I, I don't think torture is, is an excuse, or tradition is not an excuse for torture in any situation and they are torturing the dogs and um, LCA is trying to stop that. Well, you know what's right and what's wrong and torture is not right, so we must stop this. It will end in our lifetime and thank you so much for your efforts. You guys are doing amazing work and you're watching WorldAnimalNews.com.